Hi, my name's Jennifer. I'm going to give you some pointers and get you on the lanes and competing in no time. When it comes to bowling, there are a couple of key things you should know. We are going to go over a couple of steps to ensure we know all the basics so we can get you on the lanes and throwing strikes in no time. Step one is a pre-game, which includes making sure we have proper equipment and that we stretch beforehand. We will go over the proper way to pick up bowling balls to ensure no one jams their fingers. Step two, before we even throw a ball, we should familiarize ourselves with the point values, the scoring, and the arrows. Step three, we will get into the actual bowling technique, starting with proper footwork. Step four, we will learn what to do with our arms. Step five, we will take everything and put it all together. Last step is to go out and practice. The more you work on these steps, the better you will get. After all these steps, you will be on the lanes and bowling like a pro in no time. So let's get started. First step, pregame. We leave our outside shoes at the door and get some bowling shoes. Bowling shoes will help us slide, which we will discuss when we go over the footwork. But most importantly, it helps keep gravel and water off the lanes and keeps everyone safe. The next thing we have to do is stretch from head to toe to avoid long-term injuries. Last important thing to keep us safe, picking up a bowling ball. If you grab the ball with your fingers facing the ball return, you risk jamming your fingers. A quick fix is to always make sure your fingers are on the side of the ball. So when the balls come back from the ball return, there's no risk of injury. Step 2. Let's familiarize ourselves with the point values of the pins and the arrows on the lanes. There are 5 pins. The points of the pins add up to 15 and are broken down like this. From left to right. 2, 3, 5, 3, 2. The two pins worth 2 are called corner pins, and the center pin worth 5 is called the head pin. There are a bunch of arrows on the lane with the sole goal of giving us targets to hit. Now we know the basics of the pin values and the secret of the arrows. It's time to start bowling. But before we pick up the ball, I'm going to show you what to do with your feet. It is important to be comfortable when setting up your footwork. Your steps should be the length of your normal walking steps. 1, 2, and on 3, we slide to finish with our shoulders and feet pointing at our target arrow. Now that's all we need to know about the footwork. It's time to move on to your arms. On step one, we push out our arms in front of our body following with our first step. On step two, we bring our arm back. This is known as the backswing. We want to make sure we only bring our arms as far back as our shoulder comfortably allows. We also want to put our opposite arm out to the side. This is for balance. Finally, as we start to slide, we bring our arm forward and follow through. Now let's grab a ball and put it all together. Looks easy, doesn't it? I've given you all the steps to help make it easier. But, like everything else in life, you need to practice, 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 just to get better. Let's quickly review all the steps again so we can get out on the lanes and get bowling. Step one, we learned about things to do to keep everyone safe. Putting away outdoor shoes and getting some bowling shoes, stretching out our muscles, and picking the ball up from the side. Step two, 15 points, broken down from left to right as two, three, five, three, two, Arrows are our friends. Step three, take steps, keeping them at comfortable lengths. It's as easy as one, two, three. Step four, three steps to follow with our arms that correspond with our steps. One, we push our arms out in front of us. Two, backswing and balance arm. Three, following all the way through. Step five, take the steps for footwork and arms and put it all together. Step six, practice, practice, practice. Well, that's it for now, so we'll see you out on the lanes. If you need me, I'll be practicing.